things are going well. I mean, uh, he do, he doing the work. He's doing the work, and he had he's having a tremendous training camp as far as getting the guys to work. And he had a good uh, boy doing pretty much everything he needed to do. This is the this is probably the sharpest camp that I've seen. Since Floyd been fighting, Floyd fought Diego Corrales. I, I, I believe that um, he's going to give that type of performance. Floyd is sharp. He's on time. He's, uh, he's doing everything he needs to do. Uh, Counter punching very well, boxing very well, and handling guys. Uh, uh, he handling guys very easy, actually. So, I mean, I can't see uh, pretty much more that Colo can do than the guys that he box every day do because they box him every day, so they already know how he is. So, so for Colo to to, uh, to to be able to outbox my nephew and and take chances like my nephew. I think you know, I, I just think it's a whole it's a whole different boxing a whole different boxing world for him. When you boxing, there's always dangerous certain things that a fighter do. But but as I said before, um, my nephew know what he's up against, and, and I mean he prepared for whatever he's up against. So when the time comes, he's gonna be able to deal with whatever happens. He, he knows what he has to do. He knows what he has to do. And he ain't, he ain't the best fighter in the world because he don't know what to do. He's the best fighter in the world because he knows what he has to do. I mean, I think, uh, other than the Diego Corrales camp, this is the sharpest camp I've ever seen him at. I mean, as far as boxing goes and, and fighting, this is the sharpest time in boxing that I ever seen him that he is, he's at right now.